Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Approximately 11.45 a.m. in Honolulu, Hawaii. It is Friday, the 12th day of August, and this is the Daily Review for Silver, our weekend report. The photo at the beginning was just to show you I believe that the storm is over, the weather is clearing up, and it might in fact be safe to re-enter the water vis-a-vis silver. Of course, we had a tremendous week in gold, went to record high after record high, but we had silver simply slumbering, simply unable to awaken itself. I believe at this point, as I spoke about yesterday, that the sleeping giant might in fact be beginning to wake up. What has me feeling that way? What has changed within the environment that would cause that shift? There are both technical as well as fundamental reasons that I'm going to base this current assumption on. First, on a fundamental basis, we do see globally the stock markets beginning to recover. We know that silver, although it is tied as a inflationary hedge or a safe haven investment, it is industrial demand which fuels much, much of the demand the fundamentals are such that we might, in fact, witness an increase. Secondly, and more importantly, on a technical basis, what we have been noticing over these last couple of trading days is when we look at the big picture, this is our long-term trend line, the market was able to, even on these dips here, hold well above that. If we look at it in terms of straight trading activity that we've witnessed, let's say, over the last two or three weeks, we, of course, are looking at a daily chart. This is a line-only close. The reason I have been using this so frequently in silver is that we really need to remove ourselves from the day-to-day clutter and look at the big picture if we are going to have any opportunity to stand a chance to profit within this market. That being said, what impresses me on a technical basis is the market comes down, it forms a bottom. We get a double bottom right in here. This low might in fact be a little bit lower, but they are fairly close. And they're close enough as far as I'm concerned that I do consider this to be a double bottom. We had a subsequent rally. When we look at the subsequent rally, we came up. We tested support. We came back down. We've got this aberration here and an aberration here outside of this tight trading band, which we need to, of course, break out of. But what is critical to me right now is the fact that this last low was a higher low and this last high was a higher high. When you look at a market that is moving up, you can identify that market with one simple paradigm. Is the market making higher highs and is the market making higher lows as it goes through rally correction, rally correction? Because when you see the market consolidating and when you see the market choppy, you need to move it to a time frame which is expressive of more time in a shorter space, meaning daily to weekly, hourly to two hourly, to remove that intraday and interday clutter from the market to get the big picture. It has been most difficult in the silver market because silver has been trading really in a very, very narrow and very, very defined trading range over, say, the last month. And because of that, it has taken a lot of speculators in the market and turned them from being ultimately bullish to be under the belief that they are not able to profit from that this market and the major moves we have witnessed are over. It is my belief that when these less sophisticated investors wash out is when we will see another move within the market to the upside. Silver, without a doubt, has had difficulty, but I still believe there is an opportunity that will present itself in the market. 
when we look at our weekly chart, we were down on the day. There can be no doubt. But the key is the high and the low in terms of the range. That was significant. When we go back to our daily chart in straight candlestick format, we have a close that is above this 38% level, which to me is a fairly critical point because that is the retracement, as you're well aware of, from this significant drop from 50 to 32. As you can see, this 38% level right here is the shorter of the two retracement points, whereas this 38 level right in here is the more significant one because it accounts for that entire move. The fact that this market was able to close above that to me is extremely significant and warrants our absolute attention. I would look next week for this market should it continue on this firming course to go to our next target area and test it, a retest of $40. You can see that we've tested it on quite a few occasions, but we're unable to at any point since this market came back down into this area at any point and sustain a rally which closed it above there vis-a-vis -vis the daily charts. Until we see that, we are not out of the water yet. But the fact that we were able to come off of these lows and close above this critical benchmark, 38 here and 38 here, this is a harmonics to me. It's a critical area. We need to remain above that. As long as we do, my sentiment, traders, is we have to go up and test the next level. The next level, of course, is going to be, in terms of a big move, $41 per ounce. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading. We'll talk to you on Monday for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.